So welcome back to my channel. This is Dom and uh, impromptu video about this thing. Um, I went to Chichester at the weekend in West Sussex and um, went to the Novium Museum where they have a display of this guy, the mysterious, or the mystery warrior, the North Burstead Man. Um, he dates from 55 BC, which is the time when Julius Caesar invaded Britain, and he's um, a Celtic warrior. Um, some question about whether he was a local. Uh, he was certainly found very close to Chichester in a burial, um, and had certainly died um, around the time of Caesar's invasion. Um, so speculation is he was killed during the fight, fighting on the beaches or around that area. Um, but as I say, he definitely, as according to science, he didn't come from the area. So there's some speculation about whether he was from the continent, whether he was a, almost like a Celtic freedom fighter coming back to fight against the uh, Romans in Britain, whatever. Um, but what is for certain is he is an inspirational figure for anybody who's pulling together their ancient British uh, army at the moment for infamy because he has got the most spectacular headdress look at this thing absolutely amazing um, it's obviously um, elaborate and sort of designed to impress not terribly practical uh, it's bronze um, and this is obviously the replica but I'll show you the real thing in a minute uh, what's left of it but just extraordinary and obviously this guy had some uh, real uh, importance to be buried and to have this kind of helmet really really amazing probably quite hard to to wear <laughs> especially with lots of wind uh, and certainly has a you can see here chin strap uh, that would have held it on because the wind catching under this would have lifted it off all bronze and apparently one of only four helmets that have ever been held, ever been found from the Iron Age in Britain, um, and so quite a find. And I think the museum deserves a lot more attention. Um, so let's have a look at uh, a bit more of the detail. He was found um, in a grave, fully intact. Um, he was about five foot seven, so reasonable size for the for the time. Um, he had uh, was buried with. Um, a bronze shield boss uh, his helmet obviously with this amazing fan an iron sword which was still in its scabbard uh, and placed by his knees but they deliberately bent it in half and then his spear was also in there but broken um, and a number of other things like pottery uh, but, uh, pottery jars and bowls and everything else but just extraordinary thing um, I just thought those of us amongst us who are historians and fascinated by historical finds would be amazed by this and and the same maybe something you can uh, inspire you to model uh, for your ancient britain uh, warlords let's have a look at some live footage from the uh, exhibition Purely decorative, isn't it? It's got to be. Oh, yeah. Amazing. 
Where's the original sword? Funny, it's bent, wasn't it? Weird. Must be some sort of ritual. There's the actual helmet. There's the fans. I'm gonna call them fans, aren't they? Amazing. On a windy day like today, he could, he could have blown his head off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Roman baths. Wow.